Yo, what's good ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Bash. I got a team deathmatch for you today on Carnival. Carnival is a new map, it's part of the Resurgence map pack, uh, which just recently came out, came out on Thursday for the Xbox. Don't know when it's coming out for the PS3, sorry guys. Um, if anyone knows, you can leave that in the comment section, I'm sure people would love to know. <laughs> um, I don't know. But uh, you know, Infinity Ward stuck to their uh, usual kind of formula when it comes to map packs. Three brand new maps no one's ever seen before. And uh, two recycled, you know, fan favorites, I guess they're calling them, from uh, Modern Warfare 1. Um, before I talk about the map pack, which is going to be the main topic of discussion for this commentary, I, I do want to touch on one thing. I want to touch on my Xbox Live friends list. Um, I've gone ahead and removed all subscribers from that friends list. Um, please, please don't take it personally. It was nothing personal. Um, I have about 8,000 subscribers right now, which is really cool. Um, you know, I really appreciate every single one of you, and it's, it's amazing that all you guys are interested in seeing what I have to, to bring to you guys, and uh, I mean, I'm flattered, but um, I mean, I have 8,000 of you guys and 50, 100 spots on my friends list, um, you know, 50 of which are taken by, you know, real life friends or just online guys that I play with on a regular basis, so really like 50 spots for you, and I don't want to just, I think it's unfair to give those 50 spots to just a select few, um, you know, subscriber, so... I've decided that I'm going to try to be more active with my open lobbies. Um, so, you know, you guys will be able to all have an equal opportunity to play with me um, in open lobbies. Also, um, I mean, if you really want to play with me, send me a message on uh, Xbox Live. As long as I have, a, you know, a space in my party or I'm playing by myself, I'll definitely try to get you in. I won't ignore anybody, I promise you that. Um, I try to respond to all messages I get. I, I can't. <laughs> I, I honestly can't. But, um... I mean, if you just send me a message and say, hey, man, got space, I'd love to play with you, whatever it is, I'll definitely try to get you in, I promise. So uh, we'll try to do it that way. I'm going to have to decline all friend friend requests, and um, I did remove everybody, uh, all, all the people who, you know, I really don't interact with, at least on a weekly basis, which were a lot of people. So so I apologize once again. Don't take it personally. It was nothing personal. So, uh, But, yeah, the map pack. So first thing I'm going to touch on is uh, the two, two maps that they brought back. Um... As you know, Modern Warfare 2 was my first, um, you know, console first-person shooter. I didn't play Modern Warfare 1. Um, I did um, buy Modern Warfare 1 recently, not recently, a couple months ago, and I've been playing it, you know, here and there. Have a lot of fun with it. I love that game. But um, I've never, I never played on Vacant. I think I may have played on it once, but I've never really played on it. I, I'm not too familiar with it, but I, I definitely like that map a lot. It's small. It's action-packed. It's, things are always going on, and, uh, you know, that's my type of map. I kind of like that map. Um, the other map that they brought back was Strike. I'm still getting used to Strike. I did play on it a little bit in uh, Modern Warfare 1. But uh, I think that once I kind of wrap my head around all the different places people could potentially be, you know, all the buildings they could kind of be camping in and stuff like that, once I realize where everyone might potentially be, um, I think I'll have a much better time with that map. It reminds me a lot of Crash. And um, I had tons of fun with Crash. I love Crash. So um, I will definitely, I'm, I'm sure that I'll definitely love that map. So the new maps that they came out with were Fuel, Trailer Park, and Carnival. Um, now, let's talk about Fuel first. Fuel is a huge map. Um, it's, it reminds me a lot of Derail. I don't mind Fuel at all. I do like Fuel. Um, there's one part of Fuel. If you've played on it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of like far off. It's far away from everything. Um, it's wide open. There's a couple of rocks and uh, maybe like a little oil rig kind of thing going on over there. Um, it makes no sense. I don't understand why they implemented it. Um, I've played objective-based games like Demolition, Sabotage, Domination, and there are no objectives placed on that side of the map. Um, if you're playing Team Deathmatch and you're trying to be tactical, there is no point in going to that side of the map because, I mean, it's wide open. You'll easily, easily get picked off and killed. Um, it just, I don't, I don't understand what they did. Um, or why they incorporated that entire part. And I think they did a pretty bad job in, um, you know, at least at least they could have put some objectives on that side of the map so that people would be kind of forced to go over there. There's really no reason to go over there, and I honestly haven't even seen anyone go over there other than people just trying to go and explore. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, Trailer Park. Trailer Park's linear. It's really linear. There, there's no, you know, there's no level story, three-story buildings, no two-story buildings. Um, it, it's just one level. Um, there are a lot of walls. It's kind of like a maze. Um, a lot of flimsy trailer park fences you can shoot through. Seems like it would be like an FMJ heaven over there. <laughs> but uh, I don't mind that map at all. It seems to be in heavy rotation for some reason on my playlist. 
um, so it's getting annoying for me, but uh, <laughs> whatever, um, I don't mind that map at all. And finally, Carnival. I hated this map when I first started playing on it. Completely hated it. Um, there's that one fun house that I'm kind of looking at right now in the game. Um, people can kind of go upstairs and hide out in there. Um, at first, I was having a hard time distinguishing, because it's so colorful, I was having a hard time distinguishing people from colors on the wall. Um, now, I mean, you know, since then, I've kind of figured out where I need to pay closer attention. Um, there are some mannequins in there that were pissing me off at the start. I kept running in there and knifing mannequins and then getting owned by someone. But, um, you know, I've kind of, you know, now that I've gotten gotten the chance to play on it a little bit more, I do kind of understand everything, and, I mean, I am getting used to it. And um, I do I do appreciate this map now. It is kind of fun. And um, I think, honestly, I think Infinity War did a much better job with this map, over with this map pack, sorry, overall, than they did with the last one. And uh, with the last one, I was pretty disappointed. Uh, really disappointed, actually. I mean, Storm, I hated Storm enough to say that, to say that I hate that map pack, to be quite honest. But um, this was definitely worth the $15. I personally suggest you all go out and get it. Um, you know, I look at this relatively. I pay fi about $15 to go to a movie. Um, if I go to a movie, I'm going to get about two hours of enjoyment, maybe. I mean, 60% of movies these days are crap anyways. And um, the amount of hours that I'm probably going to get from this map pack are probably countless in comparison to a movie. So, I mean, when you look at it like that, it does kind of make sense. So, I mean, I went ahead, I picked it up, I'm having fun with it, and I'd recommend for all you guys to pick it up and have fun with it. Now, I know a lot of people are kind of trying to be anti-Infinity um, Ward, you know, hopefully trying to get the attention of Infinity Ward to, you know, address certain issues. We all know the problems that exist with this game. But you guys have got to understand, um, Infinity Ward and Activision are really not getting along at this point. The head honchos from Infinity Ward have been, you know, they've been ousted, you know, they've been gracefully let go, and uh, everyone knows about it. Um, those who are still left at Activision, Infinity Ward, you know, Activision, um, I don't know if they're really engaging too much with, with Activision, and uh, I don't even know if Activision is ever going to really engage with Infinity Ward ever again. So um, right now, they're going through kind of like, you could kind of look at it like Modern Warfare 2 is that child, that middle child that's kind of just involved in this really, really ugly divorce. And it's not going to be getting too much attention, guys, to, to be honest. So, like, it is what it is. We got to deal with it for a couple more months. Uh, Black Ops will be coming out. So, uh, not to fear. But, uh, you know, we're, we're still playing the game. And, uh, I'm st honestly, I'm still going to be playing this till, uh, till Black Ops. So, it is what it is. I'm going to have to put up with it, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was just a little video. You guys got to see Carnival. I'll try to bring out some more map pack videos for you guys. Um... In the meantime, let me know what your thoughts are on the map pack, uh, whether you got it or whether you didn't get it, and uh, why not? <laughs> All right, guys. Peace.